Good afternoon, my sexy people. We are back playing a bit of Fallout New Vegas with, of course, your one and only guest gex. Um, in the previous part, we were about to go into this cave of death, and um, I'm going to be totally honest with you, um, I had a little sneaky peek in there, just to sort of... What the hell? Okay, just to sort of see roughly what was in there, and it is full of horribles. Um, so anyway, we're going to go in here. Sorry, I thought I could hear my phone vibrating, but apparently not. Um, going to go in here and get murdered, probably. Just before I go in there very quickly, uh, I'd like to say, today, I decided to play Fallout Rubbish. You bum face. There we go. Um, decided to play Fallout because I popped into my local game today where I've pre-ordered the Pip-Boy edition of Fallout. Uh, four, sorry, Fallout 4, and I am one of the very, very lucky first 10,000 pre-orders across the country and got myself a t-shirt, and, and the manager was actually generous and kind enough to let me take my t-shirt home today, so even though it is only the 2nd of October, I already have my exclusive Fallout 4 pre-order t-shirt, which I've been very tempted to, um, to eBay, because there are just none of them on eBay at the moment. No, we're going to leave that, we're going to leave that shotgun. Um... So yes, I'll include a picture just to show you what it looks like. It's still sealed in in the packet, and it just looks like a that kind of Vault Boy blue colour. Oh, we've got to go around. So yeah, that's awesome. I was I was well impressed, but uh, I can't decide whether to get whether to keep it and let Kelly or Beth or whatever sleep in it. Um, because it's it is the of course being a typical gamer T-shirt, it is only in or it seems to only be in humongous size. So um. So yeah, a little bit too big for me, but because uh, it, yeah, it's in like I think it's XL, I believe the sizes. So um, and not that Kelly or Beth are XL size, but it just means it's more comfortable for them to sleep in. Anyway, we're going to go into here. In fact, they're both incredibly tiny for the record. Right, we're going to go into here and um, probably get killed because this place is full of lobotomites and horrible mangled bits of corpse and all sorts. As you'll see, we'll go in and immediately it will all kick off if it's the same as last time, which it probably is. <coughs> Excuse me, I've eaten so much fruit, I feel so stuffed. Oh my god. Yep, look, immediately. That's irritating. I'm waiting for them to pop round the corner and then I'm going to vat him in the face. Got to be honest, oh look at that, terrible. Terrible, two shots, terrible. I seriously hope they they oh my god there's a dude there there's a dude there this is this is gonna hurt nice ow run this is not I gotta admit it went a lot more smoothly last time where is he there he is hi there he is yeah it went a lot more what the hell where is he there he is went a lot more smoothly last time this has been a bit of a disaster Nice, we got some something. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Have we got anything that we can... Yeah, let's just use this because I'm wasting too many of those cells. Saturnite Fist. We'll use that for a bit. I don't know what he's even shooting. <gasps> he's using a hunting revolver. Oh, I wish I killed him earlier. Damn you. I don't know... Oh, hang on, wait a minute, what was that? An axe. A protonic inversal axe. I have no idea what that is. Oh, hang on, there's still a dude! Okay, he's actually got some kind of armour, and he's just pulled out a, a glove as well. Not a glove. Hang on. Run away! What happened there? Look how far... What? He's run off. He's run off, he's scared, he knows he's met his match note. The accuracy on this sodding gun. Nice. I do like how you can see the trails of the of the rounds though. Anyway. I don't know what that was. He did he chuck something at me? Yeah, you know, there's another satellite fist there. Nice. Now the only reason I'm taking those, obviously, it's good if you've got the old melee is that a flower? It is. If you've um if you've got a decent melee combat level, then obviously that's quite a good weapon. However, that's him again. 
However, I don't. So, but we're just going to take them to sell, essentially. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Why is he called Test Subject One, and the others are just called Lobotomites? Hey, hey! Don't go quiet on me now, viewers. Why is why is that the case? God knows. Anyway, let's see what we can grab. Where's the dude? That, here he is. Proton throwing axe. Well, I never. <laughs> Let's try and. What can we do? God, we've got loads of these! It's just getting silly. They were three grand each. And we're never gonna use them. Now, what is that? Okay, so you can. Oh, I see. So you can use. The throwing axe to repair the in inversal axe. What? Okay, I don't. Never mind. I'll, I'll just. I'll go along with that. Fine. I'm not going to argue. Wait a minute. Wrench. Yes, we do need a wrench for our never-ending supply of weapon repair kits. Get out. There we go. Terrible fire graphics, I have to say. But anyway, ah. Sorry if you're watching this at night time and that's incredibly bright. I do. I do apologise. <gasps> Yeah. Standard mangled corpse model that they use in Fallout. Oh, and a duffel bag. That will do nicely. Oh, and some Mentats. Free brain pills. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Lots of cameras. Are we supposed to be collecting cameras? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I've been talking a lot today and I, I, my my voice is going. Anyway, um, anything else? Anything else to grab? Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is why we came in here, isn't it? To collect... Oh yeah, that's what I meant to say. Look at this weird kind of... See, uh, Sync Project toaster, that's what the holotape's for. It's got all these toasters around, like a toaster shrine. That's awesome. With like skulls and lots of toasters. That's pretty cool. I like it. Did I search him? I did. I'm not going to steal his belt. What the hell is that? Oh, I thought it was a pool cue, but it but it ain't. This is one of those places where I can't help but feel I'm prob. What the hell is that? Probably missing stuff. But anyway, I don't know. Now the other thing is, when you come out of here, boy, do you get ambushed. Um. Again, as I say, not uh, don't really like the whole spoilers side of things, but I just yeah, as I say, I kind of stepped outside and um, got beaten up by about four people wearing those trauma harnesses, and also um, some other people as well. Is there nothing else in here? Hang on, let me just check the map and see if we're missing anything. Way no, this is it. This is the whole cuckoo's nest. Oh well, hang on. Keep thinking I see duffel bags everywhere. Jump. I thought yeah, there is a duffel bag. I thought so. Steady. And I believe that's probably about it. Oh. Creepy cave. Anyway. Right, I'm sort of delaying going outside because I hate this bit. It, you don't get immediately ambushed as you step out the door, but it's sort of when you go around the corner. I think it's probably triggered by um, uh, sorry, by picking up the toaster hollow tape thing. I think anyway. Now, unfortunately, I can't do a lot of recording because I've got a sort of a sort of evening shift, if you like. Um, uh, at one of the places I work, because I have several jobs, as I've probably mentioned many times before, and one of those jobs. Attention, Big Mountain. There's a 95% chance of clear skies interrupted with artillery fire. Oh, hello. See, we've got a fair bit of mutant cave fungus. See, the rads doesn't don't help don't hurt too much on that. Why well, have I got two of those? Taking up room. Hang on, let me just check me uh, thingy, me bobs. We're gonna have to eat something soon. We are gonna have to eat something. What should we eat? What should we eat? 
Food of the day was fruit salad, by the way, as I think I mentioned earlier. And um, drink of the day is Vimto. Oh, yes. Haven't had Vimto for a long time. Oh, my God. We're actually running out. We're getting worryingly low on things like ge gecko steaks and stuff like that. And that only gives you minus 30. Urgh. Not ideal, but anyway. Anyway, we'll eat a bit of that. We will have to start looking for food. Right. I'm going to save quickly because the game is taking a while to load and it's being a little bit stuttery. We don't want it crashing on us. Because when it all kicks off, it does all tend to... That's when the game does tend to kind of say, I've had enough, and just pack in. And uh, don't really want that happening. That is an old Xbox. I'm playing on one of the original white ones that is... Um, old school ain't the word. Right. Yeah, it's just over here. There we are. There's hundreds of them. Christ almighty. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, Christ, why is he still hitting me? That's well unfair. Right, grenade. We're going to put a quick grenade in among them. Um, that wasn't ideal. That was much better. Crouch. There's still at least one alive. I don't know whether he's been knocked over or anything. Should we use the BB gun? Oh, no, there's still a couple. Come on! Ah. The problem is, of course, with these bloody plasma things... I'm going to have to use that again. With these plasma things... Um, oh, Christ almighty! He's a bit close. Um, his health was going up. Sorry, I just noticed his health was actually going up again. Those trauma suit things do help. Um, the problem with... What was it? Plasma stuff. is It does tend to... Um, it does seem to cripple your limbs a bit quicker than normal. Oh! Sodding thing. Takes a little while for vats to kick in. There we go. Head came off. And there's still one of something running about down there. Oh, it's only him. We will use for him because we're not going to get any other use for it. And look at all this ammo and crap lying about. Oh, wait, hang on. He's got a bloody plasma gun as well. Run away! Crouch! Crouch, you pleb! Nice! He missed at like point blank range. Nice! There we go. I'm just doing that to save a bit of plasma ammo because we have been wailing through it a little bit. So this is as far as I've got. I don't know what's coming next. And unfortunately, we are absolutely stacked when it comes to um, stuff to carry. I mean, look, that's the first guy, and already we're full of crap. So, full of crap? Well, kind of. Carrying stuff. Bit of a waste. I know that was a bit of a waste, but still. Should have another... Yep, right. Oh, my God. And we're over encumbered. Doesn't matter. We can drop the uh, we can drop the shotty, and we can do some kind of general mix and match stuff. Oh, for God's sake, he had one, one friggin' cell. Oh, <gasps> that's like the giant howitzers um, that the boomers want repaired. Oh my God, an arm came off. It's annoying that you can never take the. The trauma override thingy. I would grab it, but probably never use that. But anyway, um, I was going to say there seem to be a lot of. Sorry, there seem, uh, seem to be a lot of people who were firing plasma stuff at us, but then when it actually comes to the weapons, they seem to have all disappeared. And steam gauge assemblies always remind me of the fact that they took out schematics in this, which was bearing in mind they added weapon mods. You would have thought, why the hell did they take schematics out? Which is really annoying, but anyway. Yeah, nice. We're only 30 over now. Um, good God. Oh, I see. You can repair that with a laser pistol. That's genius. Well, I never knew you could do that. See, that weighs two, so we could... Oh, my God, so we could drop that. Ah. Now, that's interesting. 
Now that's interesting. Which of these is better to keep? Um, we've got to keep Dr. Klein's glove because it is like a named item, so we better keep that. Um, urgh, what else to drop? Can't drop any of those because they they're worth so much. And that is just awesome. Yeah, we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna do that. Um, what else can we drop? We can drop that, and we can drop that. Oh, everything's like so awesome. Um, Jesus, that gives you. Oh, we have still got our hat. Yay! We didn't lose our hat unless it's a different one. I don't know. Anyway, um, uh, see, we're still like a good nineteen. I mean, unless we drop something like that, but that. Uh, I mean, that's eight. It's not worth a huge amount, is it? Uh, really reluctant. And we're still eleven over. Oh my god. I hate this sort of thing. Um, and I don't want to drop that. I know that's worth eight as well. Everything's worth so much. Um, oh my god. I don't know. I really don't know what to do here. I really don't know what to do. I don't think I've got anything that I could... See, I think we've actually got enough to make another weapon repair kit, but... Ah, oh, that is so irritating. Right, i tell you what I'm going to do. Pause the video for two seconds. I'm going to, believe it or not, I'm actually going to walk all the way back to the hub bit and then sell some stuff and then I shall meet you back here in a, well, a few seconds. So see you in a sec. And we're back. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. Eventually took the, took the long route back, the scenic route, and even crippled myself once, which was not particularly awesome, but, uh, uh, but there you go. Uh, sorry, so, yeah, by trying to take a shortcut, a shortcut off a cliff, which, yes, yeah, say, wasn't ideal. But anyway, we've offloaded a load of stuff, sold a load of crap, and we're now heading towards... God almighty. We're now heading towards a... The, well, the marker over there. The, oh! Get up! Why are they not fighting each other? God damn it! Right. Oh, that what? What is going on? What is happening there? It's like he's got ninety percent something chance of actually get up there, of actually hitting it. But no, of course not. It wouldn't actually. Right. Oh, see that sort of thing really irritates me. That is so way so glitchy, and this will go over his head, no doubt. Yeah, of course. Oh, for God's sake, where did all these lot bloody... Oh, for God's sake. This sort of thing really irritates me. I must have been in, in the Fallout games. But, uh, anyway. Right, hopefully we'll be able to... Get over the stupid pole. There we go. Hopefully we'll be able to knacker this dog without him being able to do too much damage to us. Oh yeah, I'll explain what's happened to the gun in a second as well. Oh, for God's sake. See, he's he's already been crippled partly, but if for some reason it is Night Stalkers that, seem to, that Vats really seems to struggle with. Oh, here we go. Talk of the friggin' devils. Right, come on, let's get a friggin' headshot. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know, that's whenever these Night Stalkers are even vaguely close to you, it really seems to just lose it. Ugh. But at least we've leveled up. Uh, yeah, sorry, so what I did... I changed the, um... Oh, and there's another one up there. I changed the sonic emitter so that it's doing something, um... What's he got? So, sorry. Change the sonic emitter so that it actually does something slightly different now. Um, so a critical hit from the sonic emitter instead of um, paralysing people.
Oh, for God's sake. Uh, it, it dismembers their limbs. I'll show you what it is that it says. Critical kill, dismemberment instead. So instead of knocking enemies down. I may change that. If it turns out to be cack, I will change that. Right, bugger this. We're going to go on to this thing. We've got loads of weapon repair kits now. So... Uh... There we go. Right, it's finally buggered off. Let's have a little think what we're going to do. I mean, really, we should be thinking about energy weapons and stuff, but but we probably won't. Um, how many points have we got? 16. 16 points. Um, uh, speech is still fairly crucial later on. Um, repair is always good. I must admit, repair is always pretty good. 1, 2, 3. Get that up to 40. Again, lock pick. We're so far away from being able to pick master locks anyway. Um, one on there, a couple on there. That'll do. And unfortunately, we don't get a perk because we're um, we're on odd numbered levelings. Unfortunately, interesting that Fallout 4 has no level cap, which is mucho fascinating, and also millions of perks. I would love, as I was saying to Spider early today, I would love to be able to have a browse of the. Um, I wish this gun shot even vaguely straight. That total waste of microfusion cells there. Um, yeah, I'd love to be able to have a look at the strategy guide for Fallout 4, just so I could sort of plan what route I'm going to take. But um, Right, I'm just edging a little bit towards this, just because I want to get the, the map marker on here, but anyway. Oh, for God's sake. Thank you. Empty space. Oh, Master of the Mojave apparently counts in here as well, which is interesting. It's probably that building we're heading for, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Um... So yeah, that's interesting. I like the idea of there being no level cap because that was one of the things that did kill Fallout for me a little bit was the fact that you know you get to a certain point and you think, well, I'm not really gaining any experience. And the leveling up system in Skyrim is just terrible. This whole what's going on now? Yeah, sorry, it is really terrible and incredibly irritating, this whole thing of you only level up for doing certain skills, and that's just... Oh, hang on, the splicing lab, I vaguely remember this. Yeah, isn't this where they perfected, in inverted commas, the Night Stalkers, I think, possibly. I don't know, which means there's probably loads of Night Stalkers about. Oh no, I hate those bloody things. Danger! We've literally stepped foot in the room and already danger. I hate this thing. Anyway, um. Oh, we can make. Obviously, we're going to only make stim packs, but anyway, which is handy because I just sold some stim packs actually, because I bought the upgrade for the Cyberdog thing, which was very expensive. Are these piles of flesh, are they what's left of the researchers? Because if so, that's a rather ominous sign. What the hell is that? Oh, don't tell me it's Cazadors. Please not Cazadors. Oh, God. Um... Christ almighty, it's Cazadors. Oh! Oh, great, 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 great. Who says I panicked? Who says I panicked? We'll grab all of them. Oh, God. I presumably have been poisoned. But I don't know, we'll see. Re I mean, what's going on there? Did he? I'm sure he came through the wall then as well.
Which of course, again, is not ideal, but um, don't need them to be clipping at this moment. Oh yeah, right! Did you see that? You saw that clipping through the wall. Christ almighty! Okay, hang on. Um, could do with a critical. Thank you. Yes. Um, gives us a 10% damage bonus. That's awesome. Studying the abominations created at the big MT. That's good. Well, that's good. That is helpful. I really don't think I want to open these doors, do I? Oh, God, no, I don't. I really don't. Okay, but every time we kill one, it does seem... Then we get like a damage bonus thing, which is which is which is kind of I wouldn't say worth doing. I know there's one in there because I saw him clipping. Yeah, have it. I don't know if I was just incredibly lucky when the other one beefed me up earlier that I didn't get poisoned. I don't know, because, yeah, I mean, normally, you know, when you're looking at, particularly with companions, you're looking at lights out. Oh, my God. So, um, as I say, whether I was just incredibly lucky, I don't know. Why's my pit boy like it going out? What the hell are they? Okay. Eggs. Eggs galore. Oh. I keep gasping as though it's something amazingly awesome, but it's just... It's alright, I guess. It's alright. Could be worse. Could be worse. Hang on, we still haven't found... We still haven't found the, di uh, the holotape thing that we're looking for, have we? Ua la holotope. Assuming that... It oh, hang on, there's a massive door over here, isn't there? Here we go. This is, well, this is the dude that's seen us. Yep. Oh, Jesus! Where's he gone? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I don't know what happened there. He just sort of disappeared through the wall. Oh, my God. Specimen 73. Okay, we got a critical, that's good. Yes! An additional 10%, so we got 20% against Cazadors, that's awesome. I don't know if that applies to only the... Um... <gasps> what? I don't even know what that thing is. I don't know if that only applies to the Cazadors in the big MT, or whether that's all Cazadors from now on. Even though they're not actually that common in... Um... There it is, in uh, Thingamabob, in the normal Mojave. I mean, they, they are about, but not very often. Egg timer, yes. Okay, well, it looks like it was definitely worth coming in here, anyway. Wonder glue. We will take Wonder glue. We will take that, because it does help for, for later on. Nice. So, have we collected all of the all of the holotapes. Have I looked at that one? Yes. Uh, no. We don't need any of that, so let's have a look and see what else is in this room. Pretty warm money. Pack of fags, don't need that just yet. Um, is that medics or a syringe? It is an empty syringe. I believe if we had that... Th Oh, another of them. I believe we could probably make, um, yay! Uh, what do you call it? One of those uh, blah, 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 doctor's bags. If we had the right level of skill, which of course we don't. Of course we don't. We never have the skills we need, or at least I don't. Anyway, I never, I never have the skills I need. Right. Is that it then? Are we done? God, Pepsi and ADA and a splicing. Um, 
No, there is another one. And we're getting, yet again, we're getting dangerously close to being over encumbered. Again. I had a slightly worrying feeling that once you'd been in here and opened the door, that they did sort of appear again outside, like all over the shop, but we'll see. Should have saved. Really. Really should have saved. But anyway, we'll see. Okay, catch myself then. Right. I know it says auto saving, but I'm going to manually save as well because I don't trust this big parlor dump. Um, let's do it over that one. Yeah, so we'll save over there. In fact, to be honest, I'm going to leave it there because that is about half an hour um, for this part. I'm going to record some in a second, but it's, I like to do it in half hour chunks. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this part. Um, we'll head out. We'll head over there and probably get attacked by whatever that red dot is and hopefully find the last of these holotapes. So um, and get Muggy up and running and he's definitely worth coming back to see.